Hello YouTube, Gaming Goddess here with a review on Lollipop Chainsaw, a hack and slash zombie game for PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. The player takes on the role of an 18 year old cheerleader who also happens to be a zombie hunter. So let's take a closer look at the mechanics of this game. First we have our gameplay, which I will say again, this is a hack and slash game. The player takes the role of Juliet and you have to fight your way through a horde of zombies. Juliet is able to dodge, use melee attacks, as well as high and low chainsaw attacks. When you kill a zombie or successfully rescue a classmate, you will be given a bunch of medals. These medals can be used at the chop to shop shop. They are located throughout the different stages. Also, as you progress through the game, you will be given gifts along the way. These gifts are new super items that help Juliet along the way. Juliet also has her disembodied boyfriend helping her up. You can place his head on certain zombies to destroy rocks and other obstacles that may be in your way. After each stage, the player is rated on how well they did. If Juliet can beat her dad's high score, then special items will be unlocked. That covers the gameplay, so let's talk graphics. I'm not impressed at all. Yes, it is a more realistic style, but it doesn't look as good as it could look. The physics in this game are just crazy as well. I mean, I'm fine with the typical wall clipping glitch, but man, sometimes zombies and objects will just fly across the room and it looks so ridiculous. One major glitch I did come across though was during the final boss fight. Julia became invisible and we don't really know why, but she was in visible for a good while before she turned normal. So moving on to the audio, this game is fully voiced. Yay! Well, not really. The voice acting is so bad sometimes you can't help but laugh. Also, the music isn't the greatest, but that's just my opinion on it. I guess it really just depends on your taste in music. Now for the pros and cons. First, the pros. This game is short, like really short, that you can easily beat it in a day short. This game is also fully voiced, and there is a secret high school of the dead costume. As for the cons, they curse way too much for my liking. The music isn't something I would listen to on a regular basis. The story is really fast paced and it feels rushed and the game physics are just horrible. Overall, Lollipop Chainsaw sucked. There, I said it. I actually don't remember the reason why I got this game when it came out. Maybe because it looked cool at the time, but seriously, I beat it in a day and got the bad ending. It's the only ending I can get. Some of the zombie bosses are pretty cool looking though, but this game is just not my style. Okay, well, I did have fun playing it the first time around, but every other time after that, I would get so bored that not even the high school the dead outfit could make me keep playing it. So, I guess I'll have to rate Lollipop Chainsaw a 2 out of 10. This has been a Gaming Goddess review. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a like. If you have an opinion about this game, then feel free to let me know in the comments below. And remember to keep on gaming. I know what you're thinking. I'm getting so fat, but they're so yum. This is my family. My older sister Cordelia won a gold medal in riflery last year. And she has a lot of secret meetings with guys I think are college scouts. My little sister Rosalind just got her license, which makes me kind of think the DMV are idiots. My girlfriends say my dad is a total dope. But try as they might, they could never come between him and my mom. She is so cool. It's because of her, my sisters and I all wear our vaginas proudly. God, she and my dad love each other so much. Speaking of true love, this is my boyfriend, Nick. It F's me up how much I really like him. My family's throwing me a birthday party after school. Nick is totally freaked out having to meet my family for the first time. But I'm even more freaked out for him to find out about my family. Because even though they're the most amazing ever, some of our traditions are a little... unusual. Nick's already so sweet to never complain about my ginormous fat butt. If he finds out I'm the number one world's biggest weirdo, he might not stick around. I'd be so sad, I think I'd seriously cry forever. Oh no, I'm totally late! I was supposed to meet him before school! I'm so lame, ugh! I hope Nick 
Isn't mad. That's about the worst thing that could ever happen.